This is Gemara in Gittin Daf Chof Tess. And we're holding on Chof Tess and Aleph. We're at the Mishnah, which is approximately 15 to actually 20 lines down into the Amid on Chof Tess and Aleph. Says the Mishnah, maybe get better at Yisrael. Someone brings a get in Eretz Yisrael, which we know all the way back from Daf Beis, means you do not have to say, B'fanei Nechtav, U'b'fanei Nechtav, V'chala. And the person gets sick. What does he do? I raise him Mishal Chayb Yarach, or he can send the get with someone else. V'mamar lo itlo liyem and ochefet. But if the husband said, "Don't just give the get, get an item back for me," chefet's only a certain item. Then lo yishal chenu biyarach. Then the shliach is not allowed to give to someone else to give to the wife. Why? Says the Mishnah, "Shein ritzay na ye sheye bektanya biyarach." Because by the fact that the husband said, get this item from the woman, from there it's clear he doesn't want his bikadain to be in someone else's hands. So begins the Gemara, Amar Rav Kahana, Chala Tanan. The Mishnah said, this is only applicable when the Shleach gets sick. Says the Gemara, Pshita, Chala Kedari. Of course the Mishnah is only applying when he gets sick. That's what the Guru for the Mishnah said. Explains the Gemara, no, Ma'u Detema, you know what I would have thought? I would have thought that the same din in the Mishnah applies whether or not the Sheikh is sick. But why does the Mishnah say a case of sickness if that's not Davka? Because I would have thought Orcha de Milsikatani just teaching us the regular case. Kamash Malan, that no, it's Davka only when the Sheikh gets sick does he have the ability to appoint someone else. Says the Gadamara, hey Chidam, you what's the case? If the husband said to bring the get, so regardless if he, the shliach got sick or not, he should be able to give someone else to bring the get. And if he said you should be the one to bring it, specific, specifying the shliach himself, then even if the shliach gets sick, who cares? The husband specified specifically you. Virash bag, and if we're going to be in Rishim Gamliel, then what? And Afilu Chala. We're going with the Bina of Rishim Gamliel, then Afilu Chala Nami Loi. Then even, excuse me, if we're going with the Bina of Rishim Gamliel, then even in the case where the husband gets, the Shlech gets sick, he should not be allowed to transfer it to another uh, Shlech. Detanya. So now we learn in the Brisa to prove the Gemara's kasha, trying to figure out what is the case. Ha'ilach gets el ishti. If someone says, "Bring this get to my wife," ha'reiz them mishal chov yaracher. Says the Brisa, he's allowed to give it to someone else. At ha'ilach gets el ishte ishti. If the husband says, "You should bring the one to bring to my wife," ha'reiz el mishal chenav yaracher. He cannot send someone else because the husband was specific. That that person himself should be the one to bring the get. Rav Shimon Gamliel Oimer he argues, and what does he say? Bein kach u bein kach ein ashliach oisah shliach says Rav Shimon Gamliel, one shliach is not allowed to make a new shliach. So whether the husband said at, whether the husband did not say at, either way, he says Rav Shimon Gamliel, the shliach cannot appoint a new shliach. So ask the Gemara. What is the case of Mishnah? Answers the Gemara, Iba Yisema, the first Torah, it's Ha'ilechu, Ha'ilech. The case is where he said, Ha'ilech, not you bring it, just bring it. Vahu Dachala. And the case happens to be where the Sheikh Saikit got sick. Iba Yisema, at Ha'ilech. Or you can say that the case is where he said, you be the one to bring it. Vahala Shaini. And the reason why the Sheikh is allowed to appoint someone else, because Chala Shaini getting sick has different rules. And if you want, you can even say that the Mishnah is following the opinion of Shin Gamliel, the Chala Shaini. And even though Shin Gamliel normally says that, whether you said you or not, but says that the Gemara of Shin Gamliel could hold that in the case of sickness, it's different. In such a scenario, he would agree. You could, yes, make another shliach. So, who is the opinion of the Mishnah? Seemingly, the Mishnah doesn't fit according to anything. Explains the Gemara to not. Says the Gemara, if someone brings a get and he got sick, he's allowed to send someone else. Very minimal, I'll ask you a stira. 
or he tells three people, write again and give it to my wife. What's the halacha? They have to write it and give it. In who in? But says the Gemara, what do we see clearly implied in it? Their words. Only in who? Only they themselves. But not with a shliach. Amr Abaya, nothing, no raya. Ha, sometime am I. Shom bizayin dabal. We don't want it to become an embarrassment. La hasvin, achabal, lo kapit. Rav Amar, second daretz. Misham de milihu. Bringing up a totally new sugya. The question is, it's words. Umili lo mimsarech le shliach. And words cannot be given over to shliach. My beinayo, what there is these two answers? Igbinayo shliach matano. Plug to the Rav Shmuel. Rav Amar matano. And that's going to be the Machlaikas and we'll determine who is the Tana of our Mishnah. We pick it up for the two dots on the first wide line. So the Mishnah said that if the husband says, take an item, he doesn't just say deliver the get. He has an extra caveat. Deliver the get and take a specific item. Then it said in the Mishnah, the din is going to change. Why will it didn't change? Because there's a new svara to introduce in which the husband could say, I don't want my pikadon to be in the hands of someone else. I entrust you to be the shliach and just you and no one else. Says the Gemara, Here Rebbe taught a famous statement. A borrower cannot lend and a renter cannot give to someone else. And therefore, if this guy entrusted one person, you can't give it to someone else, mimicking the words of the Mishnah. Omar Rav Yechon and said back to Rishlakish, Zu, this, this thing of Rabbi. This din of Rebbe that a borrower cannot lend. Afilu. What do you mean this is where Rebbe learned this hallmark statement? Says Rabbi Yechon, everyone knows, even the school children know, that one who borrows cannot lend. Ella, rather, what did Rebbe must have mean when he said that what a Rebbe must mean to learn from our Mishnah. That from our Mishnah, it's not just, not just that I don't want my item to be in someone else's hand. That if you go and you violate the words, that it won't even affect the actual get. Why? Because we make it as if the husband articulated and spelled out to not to just pick up a pikadon A or item B. That it's like a case where the husband spoke out a specific condition. Only divorce in place A. And he went and divorced in place B. Only do it with your right hand. And he did it with his left hand. Those cases, it wouldn't even be a good get. The Kulei Alma says the Gemara, two lines from the bottom. So now explains the Gemara, how is this going to work out? And in what case will it indeed result that it's not actually a good Gershin? Everyone agrees. Everyone agrees where the woman leaves her house. Again, we have a shliach bringing the get, and the woman is giving the pikada into the shliach. So everyone agrees that the woman goes towards the shliach, the avalach, hefetz, and gives him the object, or I should say better, gives it to the second shliach, v'hadar shakla mine gita, and then takes the get from him. In such a scenario, kuli amo pligi de gita, that's going to be fine since the woman went to him and the woman gave over the object. Keep leaky in what scenario will this result in a potential invalidation of the get? As we turn over to Chavtesa Aleph explains the Gemara, 
In a scenario in which the husband says, take a specific item, tol minei mino take from her a specific item. And what happens? V'hadr avla gita. V'azal iu. And what happened? The avla gita and the shliach went and first gave the get. V'hadr shalka minei chayfetz. You reverse the order. And that which the husband explains. So Rav Yechran paisal bai v'koyshel kein v'shluchai. Rav Yechran holds its puzzle. If he does it, and certainly a shliach, for yishlakish machshir v'shluchai v'kol shakein bai. So learns the Gemara that when the Mishnah said Shein Rishlakish Shein Rishlakish Shein Rishlakish and Rishlakish came along and said Kan Shana Rabbi a Nashal Rashel Ashel says the Gemara what's really going on over here the underpinnings of this Machlekes Rav Yechon Rishlakish is what happens if the husband said to the Shliach to do it in a specific order first to take the item and then deliver the get. And the shliach now, the second, the new shliach, does the exact opposite. Will that invalidate the get? That is going to be a machlokes, Rav Yechanan and Reish Lakish. How we continue with the Mishnah, Chavtas and four lines down, I maybe get, Mimedina Zayam, continuing the scenarios in which one shliach can potentially create a new shliach. One brings a get from Medina Zayam, which we know, what does that mean? You have to say, the chalam, and the shliach gets sick. What's the halacha? Says the Mishnah, he says, shliach, be a bezdin. He makes a shliach in bezdin. O mishal chay. It sends the get with him. Vahimer lifneim, and he sends in front of the bezdin, vahimer nechta, vahimer nechta. And the latter shliach, obviously everyone is honing in the word to say acharain. It sounds like there's only two shluchim. What's acharain? Very good. The Gemara will talk about it in a moment. Ein shliach acharain tzar sheyaymer b'fanei nechta b'fanei nechta am elo imer shliach bezdinani. Rather, he just has to say, "I'm the shliach of bezdin," and we know what that means. What that means is, if you're shliach of bezdin, that means you're complying with everything that Bezin requires. So says the Gemara, Amru lei Rav Yechlon Avimi. Rav Yechlon says to Avimi, Braid Rav Avua. Pa'i minemi Rav Avua, they asked the following Shaila. Shliach de Shliach Mashve Shliach Oi Loi. They asked the following fundamental Shaila. Do we say Shliach de Shliach? Can, can the shliach of the shliach, excuse me, can the second shliach mashvi shliach oiloi? Meaning, can you continue the chain? Amr the host, or he responded, the Rav Avua responded, Haloi tibai, that's not a shayla. Lacho, halo tibai lacho. Medektani, the word in the Mishnah we pointed out, ina shliach, ho'acharoin, the last one. Michlal, from here we see that there was a last, not just one. So we see Michlal the Mashri Shiach that you can continue the chain. Alakiti Bailakhu, what is the Shaila ki Mashri Shliach? When you create a Shliach, Bibazdin or Yafilu Shalai Bibazdin. Ruvain got the get from the husband. Ruvain is the Shiach to bring the get in Medina Sayyam. So the Mishnah spoke about Ruvain appointing Shimain to be a Shliach in his stead. And the Mishnah spoke of Ruvain appointing Shimon in Bezdin. The question now is, if Shimon appoints Levi, you thereby appoints Yehuda, and the, and the chain continues. Is the subsequent appointal of the new Shluchim need to be done bidafka specifically in Bezdin? Or can it be appointed anywhere? So Amru so again Ravu responds, Halami Bailan, again this is not a Shailam Bidiktani, what did the Mishnah teach us? Ella Oimer, that what does the Shliach say? Shliach Bezdin, Ani. He says, I am the Shliach of Bezdin. Clearly pointing out that the only place you could transfer Shliach to Shliach is going to be in Bezdin. That is part A of how to learn up this dialogue regarding the Mishnah. Part B, Rav Nachem Rav Yitzhak Masti Yachi, he learns slightly different. Amr le Rabbanu na Avimi, Braid Ravu, Abay Mine Mi Ravavu. Shliach to Shliach, Kimashi, Mishliach, Bebezdin, Oishaloi Bebezdin. 
So he learned that the original Shaila Gufa Bidafka was, does it have to be invested in? And on that, Amr Luhu responded, Why do you not just ask? Why are you asking about Bezdin? Why don't you just ask, does he create a Shliach? Amr Leah, that wasn't a Shail at all. It's not, because we learned in a mission, a Shliach, Ah, or Mechal, the Shlavi Shliach. Ella Kika, we know what the Shail was. Be Bezdin, I shall be Bezdin. The Shailah was, I know it could be done, but is that word, I said it slightly off, excuse me, let me say it better. The Shailah was, the Shailah was, excuse me, he asked about Bezdin, he responded, why don't you ask about Stamash Liach? He said, that's Pashit. So he said, what's the story with Bezdin? Why not? So two ways of getting to the same result that what do we see from the Mishnah that one Shleach could appoint the next and yes, it has to be done in Bezdin. Continues the Gemara, Amar Rabbah, about ten lines from the wide lines. First one line is Shleach. Shleach by Eretz Yisrael, Oise Kamo Shluchim. A Shleach in Eretz Yisrael has the ability to create many Shluchim. He could create one shliach who creates the next, etc. Amar Ravashi. And of course, where does this din come from? So Rashi explains, because we know that in Eretz Yisrael, there's no din of b'fanei nechtav, b'fanei nechtav. Let's scroll up a little bit to see Rashi. Rashi says, Rashi says, Rishon l'sheni v'sheni l'shlishi. Rashi is four lines into the Gemara. For the fact that we're in Eretz Yisrael, there's no Bafani Nechtav, there's no necessity of Bezdin. If there's no necessity of Bezdin, says the Gemara that you're able to appoint numerous Shluchim. So says the Gemara, very nice, I'm Rav Ashi. But there's another din. In Mace Rishon, if the first Shliach, again, let's say we had a chain of five Shluch of Ruvay, to Shimon, to Levi, Yudah, to Yisachar. If Ruvay, the first Shliach, dies, Batalu Kulan, all the Shluchim are Batal. Amar Mar Baravashi, Ha de Abba, de Katanusahi. That which Abba said, he said when he was young, why? Elu Mace Baal, if the husband would die, then, midi meshasha ismu, kulu mekayach man kasu. Where are they all coming from? Mekayach the baal kasu. And therefore, he said, la baal is nayo lekulu. If the husband's around, it's all around, less the baal is nayo lekulu. But it's not a din that has to do with whether the first shliach was nifter or not. But rather, it just has to do with whether the husband was nifter or not. Continues the Gemara with a story, Ahu Gavra, three lines from the white lines, the Shadal Agitil Dvisu, he sent to get to his wife, Amar, Shliach, Lo Yadanala. So the Shliach says to the husband, Lo Yadanala. I don't know who your wife is. <laughs> it's very nice. You're asking me to do you a favor to give your wife the get, but I don't know who she is. Amar Lay, the husband says, El Yavl Abu Bar Minyumi. Give it to Abra Minyumi. Deu Yadala, he knows who my wife is. But ladies of lesson Allah, and he'll go and give it to his wife, to my wife. So what happens? The Shliach goes, Asav Lo Yashcha Lav Raminumi. Couldn't find Av Raminumi. But excuse me, Asal Ashak Lav Raminumi. Very good. Ashkhi the Ravavu of Rav Yechan Bar Papa. He found two other wonderful Yidin. Virav Yitzhak Navcha. The Yosef Rav Safra Gabay. So there's three people. Rav Avua, Rav Chlina Bar, Papa, Rav Yitzhak Navcha, and Rav Safra sitting amongst them. Amru Lei, Masar, Amila, Kami, Didan. So they said to him, say over the words in front of us, we are going to act as a Bezdin. And then, Chi Os, Yesi, Arba, Ramin Yumi, Navin Uleya. That when Arba and Yumi comes, we will give it to him a very nice idea. Belezo, Velasvin, Hula. And he'll go and give it to your wife, to, to the wife. So he's supposed to give me the shayat, to give it to Arab Rabbi Nyumi. Can't find Arab Rabbi Nyumi. But what does he do? Yes, find. He yes, finds uh, three G'daylim sitting there. So they say, you know, we'll act as a Bezdin, give over the words to us, and then we'll eventually go and give it to Arab Rabbi Nyumi, who thereby will then give it to your wife, to the wife of the husband, excuse me. 
Amrlu Rav Safra, I ask Rav Safra one second. This person was not a shlich for gerishin. He was a shlich la ilacha to give the get to Arbim and Yumi. So who said he has the power to be meiser mili kamei bezdin to tell the bezdin about the giving of the get from the husband and the bezdin will thereby give it over? This shliach never had the kayach of gerishin. What happened? All the people sitting there. We're embarrassed. And Amai Rava, Kabachinu, Rav Safra, Rav Sifra, Chap Down, Litzos, Rabban, and Samucha, these three Rabbanin who have Samicha. Says the Gemara, Mravashi, Bimai Kabachinu. What was the Shaila, Mika, Amr, La Abra, Minyumi, Vlayat? Did he ever say, only give it to Abra, Minyumi, and don't give it elsewhere? The husband never said that. The husband was just trying to make it easier. By saying, if you find Abraham and you, me, give it to him and not the wife. But let's say the shliach would have found the wife. Would the shliach have been able to give it to the wife? Of course he would have been able. So what do we see? We see that in reality, yes, the shliach was a shliach for Gerashin, and therefore he was able to give it over in front of the Bezdin like they told him to do. And we conclude with a story. Excuse me, Amar Rava. He didn't say that, and therefore he was just able to give it over. We'll stop over here by Hu Gavra. We'll pick it up from here in the next year.